Let's jump into the uh, CityWorks side of the demos for today. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll give a high level overview of FME server integrations and the CityWorks uh, integration workflow. Uh, I'll take a closer look at the moving pieces here, including uh, the FME desktop workspace, the FME server notification setup, uh, the CityWorks side of the setup. And then towards the end, I'll do just a tiny little bit of off-roading for one of our uh, newest uh, beta features, which is going to make this whole thing way easier. It's called automations. Just do a quick peek there. So at a high level, FME server uh, has been known uh, for a long time as a data transfer and a transformation tool that shuffles data between traditional formats, especially in the GIS space. But the potential of FME really goes beyond this. Uh, FME can communicate with non-traditional and non-spatial formats and systems, often through a simple HTTP call to an API, as we're talking about. Uh, if you throw in notifications like an email service, as well as uh, database connections, uh, there really isn't a whole lot you can't do for your data enterprise stack. So let's take a look at the CityWorks uh, pipeline, uh, sort of at a high level here. Uh, so this diagram is meant to be sort of a visual abstraction of the processes at work in the integration uh, workflow. Starting at the top left there, the skyscraper icon is supposed to represent uh, CityWorks. That kind of calendar looking thing underneath there is supposed to be a table with data, work orders, forms, etc. So starting there, uh, so when an uh, action like a service request creation or a work order or an inspection ticket or something like this is created in CityWorks, uh, it's going to send uh, some JSON to FME server. So that's the little curly brackets there. That's the JSON. And it's being registered uh, by an FME uh, topic, which we uh, haven't mentioned yet. But a topic acts kind of like a recording device that can register and play back data from HTTP requests. So that's that kind of cache register looking icon there above uh, FME server. So uh, once the topic has registered the message in FME server, it'll kick off an FME engine to run a workspace that's going to ingest the JSON and use it to complete the translation. That's the cog wheel there. So during the workflow, FME is going to pull data from an external database and also make a series of REST API calls back to CityWorks, creating whatever work orders, tasks, uh, entities, et cetera, are needed to complete the original uh, service request or work order ticket, whatever it may be. When the whole process is complete, FME server sends an email summarizing the job. So this gives you a larger picture of what's going on, and I'm going to dive into some of the nuts and bolts here for uh, the technical details. And bear with me, there's a few moving parts. Uh, so hopefully they'll all work together and we'll be able to uh, see the whole workflow work in action. So here's the uh, FME desktop uh, workspace. Uh, just a second, I'm gonna bring up my notes. So it's really just a series of HTTP call calls followed by uh, parsing the response with JSON transformers. Starting at the beginning, uh, the workspace kicks off uh, by reading a JSON feature. It really just contains an address uh, attribute that's been sent over from CityWorks via JSON. Uh, immediately, we're going to authenticate to CityWorks and retrieve a token. And next, we're going to start creating work orders, tasks, and entities. We're going to first create a parent work order. Next, we'll create a child work order from the parent. Next, we'll add a task to that child work order. And this workflow below here, you'll notice that we're doing some geocoding. This is basically because we want to turn that address that came from CityWorks into a real uh, city GIS street center line entity. So what we're doing is geocoding the address uh, grabbing some street center lines from the city uh, geodatabase, finding uh, which one matches the address, and attaching it to the work order as an entity in CityWorks. At the very end, uh, hidden in this bookmark here, uh, I've just rigged up uh, an HTML report to be generated 
and sent by email as a summary of what happened in that workspace. So all the API calls here are in these orange uh, bookmarks. So there's five of them. We've also got two uh, custom transformers here, which you see in green. So these are transformers which I've already uploaded to FME Hub. So if you're curious at taking a look at them and starting to work with them, uh, search for CityWorks uh, on the hub and you'll find the CityWorks connector and work order creator. You can also open these up and actually look at what's going on inside. They're pretty simple. They're basically the same template again, an HTTP caller followed by a JSON extractor. So I'll take a look at uh, one of these HTTP callers just to show you what it looks like to interact with the CityWorks API. So essentially, we're just hitting uh, a pretty straightforward endpoint. So I'm wanting to create from parent a new work order. And I'm setting a few query string parameters uh, with data just in the format that the CityWorks API accepts. So we have an entity type, work order ID, uh, template ID, and I'm always sending along my token for authentication purposes. All of these are really well outlined in the documentation. Uh, there's many, many more uh, query values you could set in here. These are just the required ones and the ones that we wanted for our workflow. All right, let's jump over to the server side of things. So to enable all this to happen in real time and responsibly in CityWorks, we have to set up a series of topics. So as a recap, we saw the FME desktop workspace here, which uh, starts from a JSON feature sent from CityWorks. So how does that happen? So in FME server, we set up a few topics to orchestrate the uh, real-time CityWorks workflow in FME server. The most important one here is probably the CityWorks trigger. So this is the topic that sits in FME server and listens to the data sent by CityWorks. Uh, we also have uh, a topic for uh, the email. So when it, when the CityWorks workflow finishes, uh, an email will be sent. That's actually this subscription here, the CityWorks emailer. Uh, it's just using a Gmail protocol, uh, SMT, SMTP. And the other subscription we have is uh, the CityWorks workspace subscription. So this actually work, listens to that first topic, the CityWorks trigger topic takes the JSON and runs the workspace. So uh, that FME desktop workspace, I just published it with the uh, job submitter service, basically no configuration at all when publishing. All this was done on the FME server side. So we've got about four or five topics and a couple of subscriptions to make this whole process uh, responsive. Okay, let's go over to the CityWorks side of things. So in CityWorks, here we're looking at uh, something called Action Manager, which is basically uh, a set of tools for application integration and responsive uh, actions and messaging within CityWorks. So there's two things here that enable this whole workflow to work. It's Action Events and Action Templates. Action Events are uh, events that happen in response to something done in CityWorks whether it's a case created, request created, uh, work order closed, something like this. So we've designed a workflow to respond to uh, a new request. So here's our uh, event details. So our uh, action event is gonna listen for any new request for a uh, K-event. It's gonna trigger always and it's gonna interact with an action template called FME server trigger. So let's take a look at that template. So the template is the action that's taken uh, once the event happens. So here, let's look at the FME server trigger action template. Uh, so we've got our URL for FME server right here. So this is how CityWorks knows to interact with FME server. Kind of like we saw in the HTTP caller, we have a method we can choose getter post. Here we've got post because we're going to send data to FME server. In the custom tab here, you can see the custom data upload body that we're going to send. It's going to be application JSON, as we can see from the content type set in the header. And the template is going to be a key 
address and the value is going to be this value here, which is actually a data from a f address field entered when the service request is created. So I'll jump over to the service request and I'll just try to create one and see if we can get this workflow to run for us. So I'm going to create a new request for a cave-in and I'm going to give it an address. Now this address should be sent over to FME server. So let's save this. There we go, there it is. Okay, great. So the CityWorks trigger topic has registered uh, the address that I entered into uh, CityWorks. Oh, you just see a new notification here in topic monitoring, which is that the workspace uh, ran as a success. And now if I check my email, I should have some results from my translation. So here I've just sent myself an email with uh, the work orders created, uh, the task and the entity that I've also created. Okay, that's the CityWorks workflow. Now, I just wanna briefly show this new tool called uh, Automations, which uh, is a visual and graphical uh, tool for basically all those topics and notifications I set up earlier. So those four or five topics and two subscriptions that you have to create manually in FME Server are gonna become a ton easier uh, in FME Server in the future. So this is pretty beta. It's uh, not totally fleshed out. It's available in the product in 2019. So download the beta, you can play around with it. So basically that whole setup is broken down into just three nodes here. We have a topic, we have an action to run the workspace. I've just chosen the workspace and I've set here one parameter, which is just to use the JSON from the topic. So if you follow the data flow here, it all ends with uh, an email, which is exactly the same as the email subscription I created earlier, but here it's all contained in this automations graphical interface. So I hope that gave you a good overview of the CityWorks integration workflow we've been working on here at SAFE. Uh, just remember that you can search for CityWorks on the FME Hub and find a whole bunch of content there and templates that you can work on. Feel free to leave a comment on the Hub if you have questions or encounter any issues uh, making these templates work for your systems. And also definitely stay tuned for automations. I think it's really gonna change the way people use uh, FME server notifications.